by just asking you, what was it like to play in the Negro League? The Negro League was, to me, was one of the most beautiful and wonderful experiences that I ever had. Number one, I, I didn't know it, it existed, that there was such a thing, until um, <clears throat> I think um, someone came and knocked on my door, and he said that there was a guy named Abe Manley, and he said he, he owned the Newark Eagles, and he said, how would I like playing with the Newark Eagles? And I said, it's all right, you know, it's fine, you know? And um, <clears throat> so, the funny thing, I, I said, um, he says, you're going to have to ask my father. I was, who was I, 18, 19, 19 years old I was then, you know? Yes. And um, so he said, well, okay. So I called my dad, and my dad said, well, it sounds all right to me. And away we went to Miami. And I walked down that bus and looked at these guys sitting in these seats. And, and I mean, they were big. People had got like mule saddles and yes. and um, and Pierce, my, uh, Pearson, uh, Lenny Pearson, and and uh, a guy named Harvey, big strong guys. And I think I let's see, I guess I weighed maybe um, wet, about maybe a hundred <laughs> seventy-five or eighty pounds. Yeah. And I'm, I'm walking around these guys and walking down the bus and looking at these guys and, and they're they're weighing like from 190 up. It wasn't it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. I put it that way, you know, because the guys were receptive. I think one of the things really was that when they find out that you can play some baseball or can pitch or whatever it was that they begin to embrace you right away. You know, in fact. Open the season in, in Newark, I think it's on a, somewhere like May the 7th or something like that, that year. And then it was on from then on. That's, that's when my career started. Hi everybody, this is Appa Brian. Thanks for tuning in to Appa Baseball Classics. This is game number 21 of the All-Time Greats Tournament and game two of the series between the 1946 Newark Eagles and the 1993 Toronto Blue Jays. This game being played at the Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here's your starting lineups for the Newark Eagles. Pat Patterson leads off, James Wilkes bats second, Larry Doby third, Monty Irvin fourth, uh, Leonard Pearson's fifth, Cherokee Davis, 6, Charles Ruffin, 7, and Bob Harvey, 8. And Dr. Cyclops, Maxwell Manning, is your pitcher. Great B with a YZ modifier. For the Toronto Blue Jays, leading off is Ricky Henderson, Devin White, Bobby Alomar, John Olerud hits cleanup, Paul Molitor, Joe Carter, Pat Borders, and Tony Fernandez with Juan Guzman, Great B, X, and W modifier, on the mound. Ready for the first pitch, here is Pat Patterson, veteran third baseman for the Newark Eagles. 42 is going to be a leadoff single for Pat Patterson. Fast runner at first, James Wilkes the batter. I think the Eagles will start the runner and hit and run. 51 is a 9. That's a single. Oh, I'm going to say B or C pitchers use 28 ball. It's not a single. Be a ground out shortstop, 6 to 3. But Patterson goes to second. Leon, here's Larry Doby. One out now. 33, that's going to be a Long drive for Larry Doby. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A home run for Larry Doby. And the Newark Eagles go up on top. Two to nothing. 
Monty Irvin. 52 is going to be a ground ball. That's an X modifier for or a strikeout. Guzman has the X modifier. And now Leonard Pearson. 6'2", 200 pounds. Steps in the box. 53 is a 20 feeling column 1. That's a, and two outs. Round out to Robbie Alomar at second base. But the Eagles start out on top. 2 to nothing. Blue Jays coming to bat in the first. Ricky Henderson leads off for the Blue Jays. 32 is a ground ball to third base, fielded by Pat Patterson. Throw across, just in time to retire Ricky Henderson. Another fast runner, Devon White comes to the box. 45 is going to be a base on balls. Something that Max Manning struggled with was walks early in his career. He's got a Z modifier now in 1946. He was 11 and 1 in 46, lost his first game, but won the next 11 league games that he figured in the decision. Here is Robbie Oliver. 1 6 is the roll, 28 is a ground out to shortstop, 6 to 3. Runner goes to second. Now John Olrud. Sixty-three is a fly ball to center field, and that's the third out of the top of the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. Two to nothing, Newark. That will bring up Cherokee Davis to lead off the second inning for the Eagles. 41 is a ground ball to shortstop. Tony Fernandez makes the play, one down. Charles Ruffin. 25 is a fly ball to center field. Two outs. Bob Harvey. 34 is a fly ball to center field. Three up and three down. We go to the bottom of the second. Two to nothing. Newark Eagle. Hall of Famer Paul Mosser leads off. The second, 54, is a fly to right field. Caught by Cherokee Davis. One down. Joe Carter. One three is going to be a 22 feeling column. Two, that's a strikeout. Pat Borders. One four is a fly ball to left. We go to the third. Two nothing Newark. Max Manning, the pitcher, leads off for the Eagles. 56 is a pop out to shortstop. Tony Fernandez is under it and makes the catch. Top of the order to Pat Patterson. Go for one. 23 is a ground out to Robbie Alomar at second. Now James Wilkes. 61 is a 40. That's going to be a walk. Larry Doby. 64 is a 9. That's going to be a single. And the runner goes to second. So you got Wilkes at second, Doby at first, two away, and Monty Irvin, who hit 363 for the Newark Eagles on 46. Pearson on deck at 310. We got to pitch to Irvin. 33, that's going to be a 6. Runners on 1st and 2nd. And that's a double with both runners scoring. 4 to nothing, Newark, Newark Eagles. Big 2-out double for Newark. Here is Leonard Pearson. 
44 is going to be an 8 against a B hitter, runner on second. That is a ground out to second base. But the Newark Eagles put two more on the board with two hits, four to nothing, Newark over Toronto. All right, Max Manning completes his warm up tosses here in the bottom of the third inning. He's six foot four, uh, long arms, and has a sidearm delivery. He's got a good fastball, a good curveball. He did not learn a changeup until about 48 or 49. I think that was taught to him by Eddie Lopez. Here's the pitch to Tony Fernandez of the Blue Jays. 4-2 is the roll. That's going to be a 23 feeling column 2. That's going to be first on the air by Max Manning. Four runs down. He's going to still sacrifice. 21 is a... 13, that's going to be strike one. Thirty-three is a bunt pit fielded by Manning. Throws to the second baseman covering. One to four. Fernandez goes to second. One away. And here is Ricky Henderson. One-one roll for Ricky. That's a hit column roll. And 22 is a triple for Ricky Henderson. Run scoring triple. Four to one. Blue Jays are on the board. Here is Devo White. One out. Henderson's at third. Infield is playing in. 55 is a eight against a... B pitcher. 32 is a fly ball to right field. F runner score, so it's a sacrifice fly. RBI for Devon White, and it's 4 to 2. Base is cleared for Bobby Alomar, two outs. 42 is a walk. Jays might not be done yet. John Olerud, the hitter, is coming up. He is 0 for 1. There's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. And John Olerud ties the game 4 to 4. Another run, and we have to lower pitching grade here. Paul Molitor. 1-2 is going to be 25 play result. Round out to second base. That's the third out, but on two hits and an air and a walk, Toronto scores four. We go to the fourth, it is four to four. John Davis leads off for the Eagles. 24 is a strikeout. Second strikeout for Guzman. Charles Ruffin. The catcher. That's a 65. That's a pop to catcher. Pat Borders makes the play, and now Bob Harvey. Thirty-four is a fly out to Devon White in center field. So three up and three down. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Four to four. Over the next two innings, if another run scores off Max Manning, his Pitching grade goes down one level because that'll be five within three innings. Joe Carter leads off for the Toronto Blue Jays. 55 is a fly ball to center field. Caught by James Wilkes. Pat Borders. 62 is a ground out to the second baseman, Larry Doby. And now Tony Fernandez. The Toronto shortstop reached on an error first time up. 36 is a Y modifier for a strikeout. We go to the fifth, 4-4. Four four. 
Juan Guzman completes his warm-up tosses. He has only allowed two runs in the last couple of innings, so if he allows three in this inning, his grade will go down. Here's the pitch to Max Manning. 1-1 one, one roll, that's going to be a single by the pitcher, Manning. Average speed at first, Pat Patterson's the batter. One for two. 61 is a double play ground ball to shortstop. Six, four, three. And now James Wilkes. 42 is a walk. Second walk given up by Guzman. Larry Doby. 22 is a six. That is a double over first base. Wilkes will go to third, and he's not going to stop there. He will score. Five to four, Newark. Here is Monty Irvin. Larry Doby is three for three with a homer single and double. 31 is a eight against the B. The runner on second. That's going to be a ground out to the pitcher. One to three. But the Eagles regain the lead with two hits and a walk. Go to the bottom of the fifth, five to four in Newark. Apologize for the camera going off focus here. I try to watch that. Here is the Toronto pitcher to lead off against Max Manning. Juan Guzman. 23 is a ground out to Larry Doby at second base. Ricky Henderson had a RBI triple and scored a run in the last two, two innings ago. 55 is going to be a fly out to center field caught by James Wilkes. Here's Devo White with two outs. 54 is a fly to right. We go to the sixth inning, five to four, Newark. Larry Pearson leads off for the Eagles. 22 is a hit column roll. 23 is a double for Leonard Pearson. Manager Cito Gatson calls time, and he is going to bring in a new pitcher, Dwayne Ward who pitched one inning yesterday, pitched a clean inning, will be brought in, grade A pitcher, KXY strikeout modifiers. He is pitching to John Davis with a runner on second and nobody out. 65 is a foul out to the third baseman. One down. Charles Ruffin. Fifty-four is a fly ball right field. Two outs. And now the eighth place hitter, Bob Harvey. Twenty-two is going to be a single right field, and that's going to score Pearson with two outs. And it becomes six to four, Newark. That is a run that's charged to the starter, Guzman. Pitcher Max Manning. 61 is a ground out to shortstop. But on two hits, one more run for Newark Eagles. We go to the bottom of the six, six to four, Newark. Robbie Alomar, who's one for five, will lead off the six for the Blue Jays. Six, six roll, that's a hit column roll. Squares this one up. 53 is a double for Robbie Alomar. Ty and Rumble come to the plate. John Olerud. 36 is a... 33, that's a pop-out to right field. And fast runner goes to third. Newark will play the infield in for Paul Molitor. 
52 is a 27 and ground out the third burner holes five to three Joe Carter with two outs comes to the plate representing the tying run 54 is a fly ball to your right field Cherokee Davis is under it and makes the catch that'll take us to the seventh inning six to four Newark Mark Eichhorn will be brought in the game to pitch for Toronto, spelled with two H's. He will be facing Pat Patterson, James Wilson, and Larry Doby. Larry Doby's going for the cycle. He's missing the triple. Here's the pitch to Pat Patterson. 34 is a fly ball to center field, caught by Devon White. James Wilkes, two walks and two runs scored. 64 is a third walk. And now Larry Doby. Twenty-three is a fly ball to right field, one away, two way. Monty Irvin. And twenty-three for Irvin, that's a six against an A. Double over first. And Wilkes will score easily with two outs. 7 to 4 Newark. Leonard Pearson. 43 is a ground ball to first base. 3 to 1. 3 outs. Another run for Newark. It's 7 to 4 in the bottom of the seventh inning. Max Manning comes back out to pitch the bottom of the seventh inning. Pat Borders leads off for the Blue Jays. 6-6 six, six roll. There's a hit column roll for Pat Borders. 56 is going to be a double for Pat Borders. Tony Fernandez. The Eagles have only a DW and a D pitcher in the bullpen. Here's Tony Fernandez. 1-2 is a 25. That is a line drive to second base caught by Larry Doby. All right, here is a pitch hitter for the pitcher. He is Ed Sprague. And a second, one out, pitch to Sprague. 33 roll, that's going to be a hit column roll for Sprague. 22 is going to be a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. And suddenly it is 7 to 6. The lead is cut to 1. Those are the first two earned runs off of Max Manning. The four runs scored on him in the third inning were all unearned. Here is Lineal Elbow Hooker. He's going to replace Manning, whose grade would go down. Um... Hooker is a grade D, no modifiers. Ricky Henderson steps in the box. The base is clear and one out. Here in the seventh. One, two is going to be a ground out to second base. Larry Doby making the play. Two outs. Devon White. 36 is a walk. Fast runner at first. For Bobby Alomar. One for two with a double. 53 is a 18. Feeling column two. First on an air. The runner goes to second. The air is on the shortstop, Monty Irvin. First and second. And here is John Olerud. Sixty-three is a fly ball to center field. James Wilkes is under it and makes the catch. So Hooker holds the line. We go to the bottom of the or top of the eighth inning. Seven to six, Newark. New pitcher for Toronto is Danny Cox. Great B pitcher, X, Y, and Z modifiers. Cherokee Davis leads off for the Eagles, trying to protect a one-run lead and eliminate the. Toronto Blue Jays here in game two. 
35 is a single for Davis. His first hit in the game. Slow runner, they will play the bases cautiously. 1-2 is a 25. That's going to be a X modifier for a strikeout. And now Bob Harvey. Fifty four is a fly to right field. Hooker will stay in the game and hit for himself. Fifty one is a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Newark seven and Toronto six. Paul Malter steps in the box and Elbow Hooker takes his windup. Here is the pitch. 6-6 six, six roll. There's a drive by Molitor. It might be. It could be. It is out of here for a game tying home run. The score is 7-7. Seven seven. Joe Carter. 63 is a fly ball to left. Carter is 0 for 4. Pat Borders. Doubled his last time up and scored 34. That's going to be a fly to center. Two outs. And let's change the hitter. That's going to be Tony Fernandez. 51's a single. Fast runner. Timeout. Alfredo Griffin will be called on to hit for the pitcher. 32 is a... Well, that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. Goes the short way, 6-4. to four. And we go to the top of the ninth. Scores all tied up as a result of the Paul Malter home run. Tony Castillo will get the top of the Newark Eagles order. Pat Patterson, James Wilkes, and Larry Doby, who's trying to go for the cycle. He has a homer single and double already. Castillo takes his windup. Here is the pitch to Pat Patterson. 64 is a 39. That's going to be a strike one. The 0 1 pitch, 23, is a ground out to second base. 4 to 3, 1 away. James Wilkes. 36 is a Pop out to the second baseman. Two down. And now here is Larry Doby. He can he can break open the tie of the home run. He can hit a triple. Or Castillo can get him out. Here's the pitch. 64 is a nine. That's going to be a single for Larry Doby. And he is four for five on the day. Fast runner at first. Monty Irvin who has an error in this game. There's the pitch to Irvin. 31 is a 8 against the B. It's going to be a ground out to third base. So that retires the Newark Eagles in the top of the ninth. Well, the bottom of the ninth score is 7-7. Seven seven. Ricky Henderson leads off the ninth for Toronto. 31 is a walk. And he can, with the asterisk, he can steal on the first pitch. Um, Ruffin is a 9, which means 11 through 26. He'll be out. Let's see what we got here. And be a throwing error on 66. So there goes Ricky Henderson. 32, he is safe with a stolen base. Puts him in scoring position for Devin White. Normally, I think I would bunt him to third, but I'd rather take three shots at a hit against a great D pitcher. So I think he's going to swing away. Here's the pitch to Devon White. 15 is a 11. And that's going to be a single to left. Fast runner scores. 
Blue Jays win, and they survive to play tomorrow. Final score, Toronto 8, and Newark Eagles 7. We'll be back with a wrap-up. An exciting game here at the Rogers Center in Toronto. The Eagles scored 7 runs on 11 hits and 2 errors. Toronto scored 8, hits on, or eight runs on 8 hits, and they committed no errors. Home runs in the game by Larry Doby, John Olerud, and Paul Molitor. The winning pitcher was uh, Tony Castillo, one inning pitched, one hit, no one runs. The losing pitcher was uh, Len, Len Hooker, one and two-thirds inning pitched, two runs against, and three hits, one walk. Uh, the starters, Guzman, went five innings, gave up six runs. Manning, Max Manning, went six and a third, gave up two earned runs. The four he gave up in the... Third inning were all unearned. That inning started with an error, sacrifice, triple, and then a sacrifice. It should have been uh, just a triple, and he shouldn't have scored. But that was followed by a walk and a homer and the by Olerud, and that put Toronto back in the game. And Paul Malter's home run in the eighth tied the score. Um, we're going to have two stars of the game. Uh, first of all, for the... Newark Eagles, Larry Doby went four for five with a homer double and two singles, three RBIs, and two runs scored in a losing cause. And then the star for the Toronto Blue Jays is Paul Maltar, who went one for four with the game-tying home run in the eighth inning. Um, I think that was the key blow for the Toronto Blue Jays. Final score, Toronto eight. Newark 3, each team is tied one game apiece. We'll play the deciding game tomorrow. Uh, the starting pitchers for the Blue Jays will be um, Todd Stottlemyre and Rufus Lewis will start for the Eagles. Stottlemyre is a C pitcher and Lewis is a B Picture with a Y modifier. Join us then. Thanks for joining us today. Good day and God bless.